Cactus and Energy Production, a big business for the environment. My name is Rodrigo Wayland. I am an engineer at Elqui Global Energy, our job is to use cactus biomass for energy, food and fuel production. In a few lines I will try to explain the potential and development of this technology. Origin. The first indications that the cactus comes from a large amount of biogas were discovered by Contreras and Toja in the mid-1980s, researchers at the University of Chile. These indications arouse my interest and lead me to carry out my graduate thesis in 2000. In order to get a field job, I contacted a private company associated with Cochineal Carmine to obtain coloring, which allocated $50,000 for a project to deliver a solution to the large amount of leaves discarded each year in the Cochineal harvest. The solution delivered was to finance the first anaerobic reactor with the exclusive use of nopal for biogas in order to satisfy the energy needs in the drying of the carmine cochineal. The nopal has extraordinary characteristics for large-scale biomass production, it is a plant mainly from arid areas, however, it is possible to plant from southern Spain to Cape Town in South Africa. Even in rainy places up to 1200 mm. Advantages of Cactus. Continuous generation of energy 24 for 365 days. Biogas and electricity production. No sulfur oxides or particles. The metabolism of the cactus does not use sulfur. Low maintenance. Operating conditions are mild, ambient temperatures and low pressure. General efficiency of the plant 85 to 90 percent. The process occupies only 5 to 15 percent of the energy produced in moving motors, pumps, lighting, etc. Generates soil, organic fertilizers. After processing the cactus only 1% of solid remains which is incorporated into the soil and crops. Change the microclimate that holds water in the soil. In desert areas, the cactus casts a shadow on the ground, reducing evaporation, retaining water, while others incorporate organic matter discarded in the cactus cutting process. It removes carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. The net effect of the photosynthesis process is an extraction of carbon dioxide from the environment, which is why it is considered carbon neutral. Useful life 20 years. A cactus lives 60 years, however over time its lignin content increases, which does not contribute to the production of biogas, the bacteria inside the reactor do not process this component. It allows the sale of carbon credits. If the nopal only grows, it would set a value close to 350 tons of carbon dioxide per year. In 20 years 7,000 tons. Totally organic process. Pesticides and herbicides will be avoided, they are toxic elements that stop the development of bacteria inside anaerobic reactors. Rapid project implementation. Most of the projects, if they start using seeds, are in full operation in three years, which takes the cactus to grow. Generates permanent jobs to plant crops and process plants. A manual sowing and cutting project is suitable in poor countries where labor is cheap, allowing many jobs to be generated. It allows the opening of new markets. Companies that use polluting fuels such as cement firing, foundries, thermoelectric plants can transform their process to neutral carbon if they use a clean fuel such as biogas. Markets previously banned due to environmental conditions may be opened. Create local jobs by stopping migration. Illegal migration to Europe or the United States is generating great problems, and one of its reasons is the lack of opportunities and jobs for a low-skilled workforce. The use of cactus allows to deliver these sustainable and well-paid jobs. Agronomic elements. For the successful development of a project we must consider the raw material, in this case the use of high-performance seed. The basic agronomic elements are high yield nopal seeds, seed activation, seed germination, seedling transplantation, soil preparation and planting in the field, technified irrigation, growth and development, mechanical or manual harvest. Alternative uses of nopal. In the following table, we can see its main applications human food. Its water content is high, about 85 to 90 percent, likewise, it contains minerals among which we find calcium, potassium, magnesium, sodium and small amounts of iron, aluminum, among others. It contains fibers, vitamins A, C, K, B1, B2, B3 and B6 and chlorophyll. It can be prepared roasted, in salads, as well as, brine, vinegar and other preparations. The nopal can be dehydrated and produce flour for making tortillas and baked goods. 
animal feeding. The foliage can be used as main food for goats, sheep, rabbits and as a food supplement, instead of concentrates, for dairy cattle, and as an ingredient for feeding monogastric animals, such as pigs. It can be used in direct feeding in situ, with cattle or goats, fed directly and prepare fermented food, cut into pieces, and prepare rations in pens. Likewise, obtain nopal flour for its storage and subsequent administration in winter rations or its sale in the wholesale market. Vermicompost. Applied to nopal, it allows to obtain two products, humus and earthworm flour, both of excellent quality and considerable volume. Normally there is a resistance to using worms as food or the elaboration of flowers because they are used in the treatment of agricultural waste. However, the nopal allows by means of a vegetable cultivation to obtain products without the negative microbial load associated with the treatment of waste. They are worms fed with vegetables for which we obtain a homogeneous product. The applications of the flower are in feeding chickens, farmed fish, goats, pigs and industrial animals as a complement to rations. Energy production. The cultivation of biomass for the production of biogas is exclusive to nopal. Biogas plants in the world normally use agricultural or industrial waste, so it's your similar. The design of processes to produce energy through cultivation and transformation is usually not viable without subsidies. This occurs with ethanol in the United States or biogas in Europe. This problem does not occur with the cactus, which is profitable and competitive with other renewable sources such as panels and wind farms. The great advantage is that it supplies power 24 hours a day, and it is possible to regulate its production, thus the demand is adjusted to the supply. The conversion of biogas into electricity uses equipment similar to that required by natural gas. Carbon bonds. And the most important benefits we can indicate the generation of permanent jobs in remote areas of Africa or marginal areas, and the greener carbon credits, will allow, by themselves, the financing of large-scale plantations. Our systems are organic crops, plants of process with recyclable materials, we are committed to sustainable development. Nopal crops for energy multiply life in deserts. The biggest impact is found in the replacement of fossil fuels. Biogas production. I think the biogas production process is known to all of you, basically a raw material is degraded by anaerobic fermentation and biogas is obtained as a product. The numbers can be found in books and specialized texts. I think the most relevant element is the percentage of transformation of this raw material close to 100%. A cactus contains 85% water which is recovered in the biodigester process. 15% corresponds to solid, it is transformed practically in its entirety into energy and nutrients, only 1% is not processed, and corresponds to thorns, lignin, fibers or other material, that takes time to be degraded, which are finally used as soil improvers. Energy Crops Regarding the energy production with cacti, in graphs 1 and 2 we can see the comparison with other crops. The graphs represent the total energy obtained by each industrial type crop. In commercial tree crops, their growth is slower with higher lignin content. In the case of other crops such as jatropha, corn, sugarcane, their products are liquid such as biodiesel, ethanol. Only the cactus has a high energy production in the form of gas. Part of the explanation is in the process, on the one hand the biogas is a very gentle process, on the other the obtaining of alcohols requires more energy in the distillate. Obtaining oils to produce biodiesel is not a very efficient process either. Energy production process. First step. Select the right cactus variety. In Mexico and other countries there are more than 150 varieties, each with its own characteristics, for height, resistant to temperatures, etc. The climatic conditions, soil, rainfall, drainage, unevenness of the soil, geographical latitude, height, salinity and other elements that a good cactus farmer must consider. Second step. Produce cactus biogas is to select the seed that we will use in the plantations. Perhaps the easiest way is to know if there are cacti on the ground or more likely you can plant more of them. Third step. The size of the project will define the type of sowing and harvesting. In projects of less than 50 hectares it will normally be done manually. It is not possible to justify specialized machinery. It is a more expensive system, but in areas where labor is economic is justifiable. Here the separation between beds must allow the passage of a person and a tractor. Densities of 25,000 plants per hectare. 
mechanized planting must be carried out on 100 hectares, as well as mechanical cactus harvest. The separation between the rows should be narrow only 1.2 meters, enough for the wheel of the combine. Fourth step harvest. Manual harvesting uses people to cut the leaves, put them on tractors with trailers, and bring them to process. The mechanical harvest must be carried out in situ with machinery that cuts, shreds it and sends it by pump in liquid form to the process through pipelines. Fifth step. Processing the cactus for energy. Nopal is crushed to the consistency of juice, we enter it into a pre-loading pond. The reactor is loaded with the cactus through the use of pumps, no water or any other component is added, the cactus is nutritionally balanced for the needs of the bacteria. Reactor works at a temperature of 35 to 38 degrees Celsius, a biological buffer has been established at pH 6.8, this allows the nopal, that enters a dry pH of 5, to have no problems in its processing. The process takes place quickly, and depending on the working conditions its retention time is from 4 to 24 hours. It is not necessary stainless steel reactors, the cactus does not reduce hydrogen sulfide. For reactors that use manure two stages is usual, however, the cactus only requires one stage, its process times are very short. The biogas produced contains 65% methane at the reactor outlet with slightly positive pressure. This gas can be purified up to 94% using a biogas scrubber at one bar pressure, or it can also be used directly in boilers or generators. Compressors and flow regulators and control systems are included, as in any industrial process. Applications. The purified biogas has a composition of 94% in methane, the rest is carbon dioxide, nitrogen and some water. With this composition it is possible to inject it directly into natural gas pipes, for use in automobiles, boilers, turbines, generators, etc. This technology is developed for supplying cities, vehicles, and a highly demanding oil and natural gas industry. Opportunities. Hydrogen is mentioned as the fuel of the future and perhaps it is. However, its cost is prohibitive, and from the point of view of its transport it is still an unsolvable problem. Biogas uses the same facilities as natural gas, it is not necessary to change pipes or modify equipment installed for natural gas. Internal combustion vehicles can be converted to dual fuel, gasoline and biogas are some modifications, in this way it is possible to meet the carbon neutrality objective. There is no need to switch to electric or hydrogen-powered vehicles. This alternative is applicable to both rich and poor countries. Algerian Gas Pipeline. In October 2021, the contract for the Maghreb gas pipeline ended, which allowed Algeria to supply natural gas to Spain using a gas pipeline that passed through Morocco. The opportunity for Europe. Morocco and Algeria. Stop the migration of North Africans to Europe using the facilities available. Guarantee gas supply. Diversify the energy matrix. Stop consuming millions of tons of fossil fuel. Let's look at some great numbers. This gas pipeline allows to send 10 million cubic meters per day of natural gas. How much cactus must we plant to produce this amount of gas? A first approximation in an industrial crop indicates that we can have a production of 50,000 cubic meters of biogas quality natural gas per hectare per year. This leads us to the fact that we need to harvest 250 hectares day to deliver the 10 million cubic meters we would require 100,000 hectares of cacti to supply Europe with 10 million cubic meters of biogas 365 days a year. How long would this project take? Using seed it would take three years to have productive plantations. It is the time necessary to prepare a project, germinate seed, so that the nopal grows to its optimum. How much would it cost, including plantations, biodigestion plant, consultancies, facilities and other general ones, about $1,200 to $1,300 million. And the water for irrigation? The water resource can be supplied by one or more desalination plants, the nopal requires 3,500 cubic meters per hectare per year, and does not include that recovered by the biodigestion systems, in addition to occasional rains. The cubic meter obtained by reverse osmosis has a cost of 50 to 100 cents of dollar, so it would be profitable even in this case. The number of jobs generated will depend on the degree of mechanization of the project. We must take into consideration that the gas is carbon neutral, will generate quality soil oil in a desert area, and multiply the life of birds. Projects 2022. We hope to develop projects in the following countries, if COVID-19 allows it. 
Food and Energy Production, Carbon Credits. United States, Nevada, Botswana, Ecuador, Italy, Spain, Algeria.